subscribe and let's get into this man i went freaking hard gizmo's gadgets goodies right. gym homies call me another hitter and the freaking weights were my voice gizmo's gadgets gizmo's gadgets goodies let's get into this man you're a convicted fuck with a little bit of dancing gizmo's gadgets goodies right. gym homie gdh homie another hitter hard hitter <laughs> Gizmos, gadgets, gizmos, gadgets, goodies. Let's get into this. What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. And today, I'm reviewing set for set. Always ready pre-workout. Hey, hey. Rufus and Doofus. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you. So click subscribe and let's get into this. Man, GGH back, baby. First day of fall training. Hey, hey, go home. Go inside. First day of the fall training, man. I'm so blessed to be back. God is amazing. God is good. Let's get down to business, man. This is just one of those days this is that first day, man, where I have to close the garage and crank that heat up in the morning, man. It's real, it's got that fall feeling, man. That's why I grew the beard out. I just got off of a 10-day uh, stim break. Not that that's so long, homie. Don't trick your 10 days is not enough to fully reset your tolerance. It's just, just enough to rest your adrenal glands, rest your brain. I didn't train, no cardio, no yoga, no nothing. I just rested, homie, 10 full days. A lot of you can't even imagine taking 10 days off of training and stimulants, man. No caffeine, no coffee, no supplements, nothing. 10 full, get, go. 10 full days, homie. See that? The, the way you can't even imagine doing it because your head's so crazy, that tells you how bad you need it, man. The crazier your head is, that tells you how bad you need it. So I schedule it, man. I do that four times a year. I do it quarterly. So I do spring training, fall, summer, winter. I train for 11 weeks, take the 12th off, 10 full days. No working out, no cardio, no stims, no caffeine, nothing but rest. Got a Thai massage, went to the sauna, steam room, just rested, homie. Now I'm back. So this is the first pre-workout I took. So fully disclosure, um, I just took this and I just finished training on it. So it's not like uh, where usually I could tell you how it felt like the rest of the day or whatever, you know, a lot of times I'll take something and then the next day I'll review it, you know, to let you know the experience after training and all that. So I'm on it right now, just finished training. So let's talk about the facts, man. Fully disclosed label. This is a nice fat tub of pre-workout. And I think I know who the manufacturer is based on this label. Very reputable, very solid, if I'm correct. They're giving us this one scoop, two scoop. Is this a children's book, homie? One scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss? No, homie. You tell us what to take. One fat scoop. Well, two scoops is 25.6 grams. That's the full dose, homie. That's the full dose. Let's get down to business. And at that... You get 20 servings in a container, and just to tell you, you get uh, two level scoops was 23 grams. So it's a little over the two level scoops to get the full uh, 25.6 grams or whatever, 26 grams. So they're giving you just 10 milligrams of niacin, B6, B12. Let's get to the meat and potatoes, son. Uh, and this is a sour gummy flavor. It was kind of sour. And I didn't taste much gummy because of my brain injury, but I tasted the sour. They got that sour part down. They might have held the gummy on me. Here we go. They're giving you pump. Let's see what they're, let's study the label together, homies. Let's, let's see what these folks are about over here. l citrulline, nine grams, homie. You ain't going to complain about that, man. You see, I demonstrate the pump. See, I just finished training. So if you want to see the pumps on this, say, you looking at them, son. The night, I mean, the pumps are, the pumps are real before I even get into the review. Look at that, look at that vascularity, look at that swollness, look at that baby. Nine grams of citrulline, then malic acid separately. So not citrulline malic, malic acid three grams, which has its own benefits. I know it helps fight fatigue. 
I think there's some other, I, I don't know all of them. Anyway, glycerol, 2.5 grams, nice amount of glycerol as glycer pump trademark, and one gram of agmatine sulfate. So a beautiful pump matrix, man. So they're right there. 15 and a half grams right there just for pumps, man. Then they're getting in the, <laughs> see, I had to add it up. Strength and endurance, homie. Betaine anhydrous, 2.5 grams for power output. L-taurine, 1.5 grams. And L of ATP, 150. You don't see this. They're just still going at it. They're the same size now. She might even be a little bigger now. Go, go home, go home. Okay, man, let's get it. They're, they're monkeying around, man. Here we go. Focus. L-tyrosine, 2 grams. Alpha-GPC, homie, 600 milligrams. That gets you focused in. That gets you dialed in. That gets you thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates. Women don't like you, man. See, now it's fall, so you can start training. So next summer, since you didn't get any right swipes this summer, you got a whole fall and winter now to get ready, man, with me. I'm going to get you a right swipe next summer, homie, in the spring. Let's get down to business, man. So that Alpha GPC, that keeps you focused. And Hooperzine A, 40 milligrams, which yields whatever the heck, 1%. How many micrograms? I don't know. Then Energy, 300 milligrams. L-theanine, 150 milligrams. I don't know why L-theanine is under the Energy Complex. Uh, and then Isopropyl Sinopharin, 20 milligrams. And Black Pepper Extract, 10 milligrams. So this here, what I see on label, is a beautiful regular use pre-workout. And the L-theanine is a one to two ratio, would you call it? Yeah, so it's half the amount of the caffeine. It's fine, man. I don't, I don't know why they gotta put L-theanine in these things. I can't imagine that most of humanity is gonna have horrible jitters from this product without the L-theanine. So they claim it's anti-jitter, da da da. Anti, I, I just think it's unnecessary, personally. But I didn't take it without L-theanine, so I don't really know. So this is what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, this is what I'm gonna say about this, homie. You might say, GGH, how were you on a stim break? You had reviews all the, every day. Yeah, they were pre-recorded, genius. You see that? Did I have a beard yesterday in the video? No, I didn't, yeah. So listen, man, all right. So this, this is what I got, man. There's no beta alanine in here, so I'm, I'm guessing they did that because uh, a lot of people don't like beta alanine, and probably the person who made this doesn't like beta alanine. They don't like the itch and the tingles. Well, I do, but no one wrote the rules that says every pre-workout has to have beta, homie. A lot of times they'll take a fat burner with a pump, doesn't have beta, and it's a great pre-workout. So anyway, ma'am, uh, just pointing it out. So I came down to the dance floor, and it took about 20 minutes, man, and then I felt a nice, um, smooth energy. Look, man, this is what I'm going to say to be honest with you. This is a hitter pre-workout. It's a great regular use pre-workout, um, and it feels exactly as the label suggests. I believe everything on this label is in here. It's a legit pre-workout. It's a healthy daily driver that gives you every single thing you need in here. And when I say it hits... There's no surprise or hits like the label suggests. That's a good thing, man. I mean, I look at it. The pumps are insane on it. Probably the star of the show. The pumps are nasty on it. Uh, the citrulline, nine grams, the glycerol, all of it comes together quickly. You're pumped. Pumped as heck. You do not need it. Do not throw any pumps on this. Do not throw pump pills on this. This is the whole package, homie. I mean, you're getting 20 servings of a 26-gram pre-workout. They're giving you everything. So I like that. No exotic stims in here. Caffeine feels like 300 milligrams. You'd think after a 10-day stim break, it blows your head off. No, but it feels great. I mean, I felt great training on this. It wasn't like too much. It wasn't like, oh my God, my head's spinning. I shouldn't have started with 300 milligrams. It just felt great to train on. Great endurance. Solid, healthy focus. No mood elevation on it. Uh, no illicit feeling, no, definitely got my heart rate up, probably from the isopropyl cinephrine and the caffeine and whatever. You feel that alpha GPC, that kind of extra focus outside of the caffeine, it's definitely apparent. It's just a good daily, regular use pre-workout. You could use this thing like five days a week, man, and be fine. This, this, is, this was created for like really regular use. 
I don't have a, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just giving you my straight experience, homie. Um, I thought it was really nice, man. Good endurance, good strength. You really do want to knock out set for set. You're, you're going. Um, not tunnel vision, crazy focus, but extra focus outside of the caffeine. I mean, it's there. 110%, it's there. There's something in there. Alpha, GPC, whatever, the Cinefer, whatever the heck comes together. Altyrosine, Hooperzine comes together nicely from the get where you just kind of feel dialed into your training in a, in a healthy feeling way, man. Um, nothing negative I could say about it. The pumps are just insane, man. You got that swole pump and sick vascularity on it. The pumps are just the most notable part of this. The energy solid. Definitely, I didn't, I didn't even want more energy, to be honest with you. I didn't even, I took it. I was like, this is more than enough for me, man. I mean, I'm good with 200 milligram, 250, especially my first time taking caffeine in 10 days. Just felt good to train on, man. Just a nice endurance, healthy focus, regular use pre-workout, solid hitter right here, man. I mean, you're getting 15 grams just for pumps. 300 milligrams is the high end I like to see for a regular use daily driver where you could use like five days a week. The Bay team, everything was nice with it, man. Nothing bad I could say about this hitter, man. No, except, I don't know why they need the L-theanine. I don't think it does anything negative. I just don't think it's necessary because a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I wish you didn't have L-theanine. So it kind of turns some people off who really care about ingredients. But for the most part, I doubt it does anything bad. 150 milligrams, you'll survive to, you know, live another day, homie. So... Nice hitter right here. Really liked it for uh, regular use. Not stim junkie, not unhealthy, not drug addict. Just a, just a good feeling training pre, like a bodybuilder's pre, man. Something, something that's uh, good for serious iron pumpers, man. Just felt great, man. Feel good right now. Hope you're feeling good too, man, because God is amazing. God bless all of you, man, together. Let's get this dang muscle. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the review, also subscribe to the channel. I'm out.